Hi everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Vlogist Day 6. Um, just a recap from yesterday. I didn't end up having time to cut my hair, but I will try to do that tonight. The banana situation got locked down. I was able to make um, banana trail mix kind of healthy muffins, so I'll see if I can do a recipe for that. It was a lot of just randomness, but they turned out really well, and uh, my husband took some to work that when he left um, for his last overnight before he's off for two weeks. So we're really excited because our anniversary is coming up on Saturday, 11 years. Um, so I thought that for today, what I would do, um, I just, I'll let you know a little bit. Uh, I've kind of talked about it a little bit, but um, church and church life and the gospel and everything is something that's a really big part of my life and my family's life. And so I was thinking about it when I was thinking about what I wanted to share today uh, in my video. And I realized that since it is such a big part of my life that I would like to share a little bit of that. So I think that what I'm gonna do is on the Sunday videos for the month of August, I'm gonna just share a little bit from that day at church, either something that I've learned or felt or experienced um, and just share that with you really quick. So. Uh, we are Christians. We go to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, as I was saying yesterday, I was preparing my adult Sunday school class. And that happens uh, each week we go to church for three hours. So the first hour we're all together as a congregation. And then in the second hour, that's the hour that I teach Sunday school to the adults. And then in the third hour, uh, we have another instruction meeting and today it was um, a lady that was teaching about um, trusting in the Lord and following his commandments and how that can help us and um, she needed a passage some passages of scripture read to the class and I volunteered I just raised my hand and started looking it up and it was Mark 5 verses 26 to 34 and I'm not I'm not the best scriptorian, so I didn't know right off the bat what that was referencing. And so I, I stood up at the front and I started to realize after I read the first verse that it actually ended up being my very favorite story from the scriptures. And it was the woman that had been ill for many years and she had so much faith in Jesus Christ that she knew that if she just touched the hem of his robe that she would be healed and so that's what she did she got uh, she brought herself to the marketplace and just reached out to touch the hem of his robe and she was healed because of the faith that she had and he recognized that um, some of his power had left him to heal her and it wasn't of his own accord it was because of her faith that she was able to access that power and uh, I did I did struggle emotionally to to get through reading those scripture um, verses because that story has always really touched my heart I've always felt like I've had a strong connection to God Heavenly Father and um, our Savior Jesus Christ and so that was a really good experience for me just kind of a little example of I felt like that Heavenly Father was aware of me in that moment and that he knew that that story reading those scriptures would touch my heart and help me to feel closer to him and to the Savior so I hope that everyone's cool with me sharing that kind of stuff uh, it'll just be on the Sundays because like I said it is a very important aspect of my life um, and so I do just want to share that kind of thing with you guys. Um, I just finished watching Jessica, or Chubby Girl Gone Weekly Weigh In, week number nine. And I was really touched by what she was saying when she was speaking about the community and how it helped to push her along and keep her motivated to continue on with her journey the way she is so that she can continue to um, inspire and motivate others. I've, I've really enjoyed this feeling of camaraderie and community is really, really wonderful. So 
and I just want to do a quick shout out to Daryl Bailey Fitness. I got a request to subscribe to his channel yesterday and I think that because of the way it was worded it got flagged as spam and so I just I thought that it was and so I responded with oh like you know a sub for a sub kind of thing and he's like, no, 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 I legit found you through the journey to health and I sincerely want you to check out my page. And so I felt horrible that I'd made the assumption that it was spam because you know, those ones get flagged and they're usually dummy accounts or whatever. So I did go over and check out his, his page, uh, his channel, and he is for sure legit. Uh, so, and he is in the process of building up his channel so if you do get a moment for sure if you get the chance take a moment to go over and check out his channel and subscribe I'm sure he would really appreciate it I'm really grateful that um, you are taking the time if you found the time to to watch these videos uh, throughout vlogist I know it's a lot and I know there's a lot of participants so I do really appreciate you being here and um, if you're new in subscribing I definitely appreciate you taking the time to do that all right and just a real quick add-on tomorrow's video is going to be like a weigh-in measurements reviewing goals video so uh, look forward to that and then Tuesday's video will be the journey to health collab question number two okay so you guys take care have a good oh you okay there okay have a good rest of your Sunday and I will check in with you with my weigh-in results and measurements tomorrow okay bye